Thank you for joining, joining us for the 2019 CIAA Basketball Tournament Post Game Wrap Up. We are joined by the Blue Bears of Livingstone College, led by head coach James Stinson. Coach, please introduce your student athletes and open the discussion with your remarks on tonight's game. Okay, to my left, I have um, Mr. Roger Ray. Um, and to my right, I have Demonte McNeil. Uh, first of all, giving honor to the Heavenly Father and the Savior. Um, couldn't be at this point without him. Um, I think that tonight was an indication of the brand of basketball that the CIAA presents. It's exciting um, opportunities that exist for us to be able to advance again, lay both on this senior's hand, on his shoulders, and this um, junior's shoulder. And we were pleased to be able to go in and get a victory against a much, a well coached team and a brother of mine, a brother of mine. Coach Brooks, he definitely does a great job with his team. They do a tremendous job. I hate to see when both of us match up for the past two years. I believe they've beaten us, and uh, you know it was turnaround this time. So there's not a whole lot of happiness behind it, but I'm glad to be jumping. Now we open up the floor for questions. Please identify your media affiliation and who your question is directed to. Steve Gage at HBCU Gambit. This is for uh, Durante. Um, I know you are from Maryland. Um, you know you folks on the team. And then also just talking about just having this game tonight against Bowie State, the way that you did. You really kind of really set it more steady. Yes, um, I'm from Lago, Maryland. And um, yeah, I, I know a few people on that team. Yeah, we, we good friends back at home, playing against each other in the summertime. But, you know, I don't want my city here today. So, uh, what coach asked me to do, and try to help us get the win. John Emmett, the WBS TV is working with you for uh, Roger. You had a lot of responsibility there at the end of the free throw line. Obviously, you've got it done. What's it like trying to close that game out, making sure you're taking care of your business? That's right. Um, you know, we, we work on them every day. We've been shooting them all week. You know, so it's just muscle memory at this point. We just got to block the distractions out. And it was a blessing I was going to make shots. Uh, William Cohen, WL, Jay Z, Livingstone Radio. Uh, for Roger, um, you know, the shots that you usually make uh, weren't falling early in the game. It seemed that you had to get a little creative. You guys had to um, do some things a little bit differently. What was going through your mind when originally those shots just weren't falling? Um, it's a marathon. Coach McNeil and Coach Spencer always tell me, just stay the course, just stay the course. And it's not, it's not all about me. So when I'm not making shots, I got to create for somebody else. I got to find ways to affect the game. And God just blessed me to be able to do that and help my teammates. So that's all I want to do is get the win. You know, if it's scoring, assists, whatever I have to do, I'm just trying to help my team win. We have time for one more question. Oh, there's just one more. Uh, can I get it in? That um, Justin Jacobs, uh, uh, WBSU TV. Demonte, you caught uh, you caught heat in, in the second half. Being a senior, was that kind of a chip on your shoulder that you didn't want your season to end right then and there? Well, for me, basically, it was just I was I was in the gym with my coaches, and they just pushing me every day. I mean, they know they know what I'm capable of, and just putting hours with and with them is just. Time All right, thank you, Coach and student athletes, for your time. Congratulations on advancing to the semifinal. Um, if you have any additional questions, you can ask them out in the hall as we get ready for the next press conference.